we are excited to bring you the next great update to ground it rightfully titled the super duper update with this update we are introducing over 100 new crafting items and buildings to make your bases cozy new ways to build many quality of life enhancements and wasp a new terrifying creature to fight but first let's check out the titular feature the super duper be on the lookout for the newly added duper disc which can be found on the story path and installed into the new super duper machine located in the oak lab this new equipment will duplicate higher tier equipment and items including all the smithing upgrades the item has received after unlocking the ability to operate the Super Duper by locating its disc operation, all other discs found will contain the ability to duplicate items. What is the cost of duplicating items? Science! So start scavenging for those discs and store up that raw science to stock up on those equipment pieces and items you can't live without. Are you looking to renovate your base but worried about how long it will take? Be sure to toggle on the new handy net a gnat you get to control who will help you build your base. This handy fellow will be defaulted to on in creative and creative with bug game modes. However, to get them enabled on survival games, you will need to turn that save into a creative game first to activate them. Once enabled, you can activate them via the crafting menu or the construction radial. Along with the handy gnat, you can now utilize the place many action. This ability allows players to press and hold the build action and move their cursor around to place as many structural buildings simultaneously. You will be able to relocate walls, floors, roofs, and other structural buildings as long as they are not the sole supporter of another building. Players will now notice that the pebblet and pollen turret have been combined into a single turret called the acorn turret that can be loaded with different ammo types. While in the turret, you can now see its health. Players who have previously purchased either the Pollen Turret or the Pebblet Turret will now have access to this new Acorn Turret building recipe. After loading their save, players who have bought both turrets will be refunded 4,000 raw science. Muscle Sprouts can now be grown in the Garden Patch, and more new building pieces can be crafted, such as a bunk bed, a large plank pallet that holds up to 60 grass planks, and a hot tub, which will grant the teens who use it the Hot Spring status effect. Lastly for your base, we have added the ability to receive new base rewards and buffs based on the overall coziness of your base. This coziness level will be determined by the number of buildings your base contains and the building types. So in theory, if you build a bigger and better base, you'll receive more buffs for staying inside. These buffs can slow down your hunger and thirst meters and can provide a small healing boost while in your base. While in the proximity of buildings that provide coziness, a unique UI will pop up that will show you your current cozy level and how much progress you have to move to the next level, which will grant you with new buffs and rewards as you move up. These rewards will be furniture recipes, unique emotes, or special perks, all of which are not attainable anywhere else in the game. New achievements have been added for players to discover, and there are also five new mutations to unlock. We have added the ability to configure four mutation loadouts so you can quickly swap between them using the new combat radial. When looking at your custom game options, you will notice that the recipe unlocked and free option has been split into two separate options, all recipes unlocked and all recipes free. And as mentioned previously, you will also find the option to enable the handy net. And great news for players that are on the go. Grounded is now Steam Deck verified. Get ready to buzz with excitement as wasps invade the yard! These hostile enemies will surely sting, and caution should be used when attempting to meet them in the upper yard. If you locate their nests and mess with them too much, you'll release the full fury of the hive. For those players looking for a harder challenge, you will be able to venture into the wasp nest and meet the wasp queen, the newest creature boss to enter the backyard. Take down this queen to unlock new items for you to craft, such as a new armor set and trinket to wear. Good luck! You're gonna need it! All this and more are waiting for you in the Super Duper 1.2 update. Hop in when you can and continue your tiny adventure in the backyard. And as always, stay safe and stay grounded.